What's a good gift to take home from Korea to your family? Sam! Hello and welcome to another edition of Korean Eats. My name is Dan and I'm here with a very special guest today, my girlfriend Ellie, all the way from the UK. Hello, I'm Ellie, all the way from the UK. Today, we are on Nam San Mountain. It's the southernmost mountain in the northern part of Seoul. And we're here on Nam San to eat some crab. Also, some spam. And also, what we think is cheese, but we're not entirely sure. I can't actually see the word cheese on it anywhere, but it was in the collection of other cheeses. So to start with, I'm thinking we should go with the crab because it's probably the weirdest thing. The interesting thing about this crab is it looks like crab, but we don't really know if it is or not. It says on it, Kudabia, which you can see above it says crabia in English. Um, but maybe it's just not feeling very happy today. <laughs> it comes with, it's a double, so we got it for like one, two, two for one. Uh, and it oh. only cost... I have absolutely no idea. It's two for one and we don't know how much we spent on it. So the entire thing costs 9,761 and that's about five pounds? Yeah, yeah, about five pounds. And that's for everything and there's a couple of drinks in there as well which we'll introduce in a little while. The convenience store, by the way, is located on the side of the mountain. So when you, when you hike up the mountain, so we've been hiking up this mountain, you get to the convenience store and you can reward yourself with some cheese. Should we get started on the crab? I think we should get started. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Oh god. That smells like crab. Here it is. Three individually packed crab. That is. Oh, things. individually wrapped. Oh. Mm, oh. Okay. Are you sure? Attention oh. to detail there. Oh, it is. So it's got this. Um, cling film around it on each edge. Um, that's actually pretty good. Really? Well, for, yeah, for crab, um, it's flaky, um, a little bit plasticky, but it's actually more like a crab than the British versions of crab stick that I've eaten. That's, that's a surprisingly good review. Maybe I'm not a fussy eater. Yeah. I actually quite like that. <laughs> that's pretty good. The texture is quite good. The texture is strange but good. It's like, I mean, I haven't eaten crab in ages, but the whole like stringiness. It has flakes. I mean, it's a bit like a cheese string. It's a it's a crab stick cheese string. Mm. It's actually a lot like a crab stick cheese. It string. does taste nice. It tastes like crab. Yeah, it's a good kind of coloring on it as well. I mean, this is not natural. If I could read the Korean on the packet, I'm sure it would say something about artificial colors. If you look closely, you might be able to see it's a light for orange pattern on this. It's uh, crisscrossed. It might have been done by a machine. I think. So two crabs is left. You like that? Premium kamadiya. We give it two, two claws, claws up. up. Should we go for the cheese? I think we should go for the cheese. Or what might be cheese? Please open the cheese. Cheese. Uh, what's cheese in Korean, Dan? Shizu. Shizu. So the whole thing on this doesn't actually say cheese anywhere. It just says shin cha sa na i dun we pik pam. And that means something like a real man's big pam. I don't really know what that means. I guess this is a big pam. And it definitely has a lot of references to camping and hiking and mountains. This has a picture of some foaming beer on it, so you can drink, you can eat it with beer. Mm. Uh, you can put it in noodles. Nice. Um, you can eat it up a mountain, which is what we're doing. Yeah, we are actually we up are a mountain right now. Yeah, just in case we hadn't already told you, we're up. We climbed a mountain. We kind of have to This is with big men eating big men's pig bum. Pig bum. Pig bum. I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> so, Ellie, will you do the honors of opening this thing? I will. Mm. Oh 
almost got it. Right. Is it cheese? Cheese and oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's not pig bun. That is not cheese. It smells like meat. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It, it kind of tastes porky. It's a bit porky, like you know. Like a sausage. And it looks like a sausage too. I guess it's some kind of sausage. It smells like a sausage. You want a bit? Thank you. What do you think? It's porky. Yeah. The texture is um rubbery. That's um that's processed. I quite like it. Actually, it's quite good food up a mountain. Right, because it's easy to get. Yeah. You just you put it grab in it your from your backpack, you unfeed it, do this, your sausage. Yeah. and then like a real man, yeah? Yeah, like a real man. Want more? No, I think we should move on to the spam Let's now. Move on for now. Since you've never opened up a Samgak kimbap before, this is the triangle kimbap, you might remember this from the second episode? Go. This will be easy. Well, it's numbered, so um, here goes. It's kind of stuck together. The, the troubling thing is you did what actually follow the, the instructions fairly well. What is going on? It's okay. <laughs> so this is a kimbap. A kimbap? And it has spam in it. Spam, as you may know, is kind of processed ham. It's really popular in Korea, and it comes in like a little tin. Uh, it's not such a big thing in the UK, but in America it's a big thing, and in, in, in Korea it's a big thing. And it used to be kind of like ration food in the US Army, which is why it became really popular in Korea, because there's been US Army military men and personnel stationed here for like 70 years. I don't know about you, but I found that really weird when I first came here. Right, and you get like these spam gift boxes, right? What's a good gift to take home from Korea to your family? Spam! Listen to that crunch. It's a classic kimbap crunch. That's what they call it here. It's pretty good. Mm. It's a bit plain for kimbap. But, you know, for something which came in a packet from a convenience store. It's pretty good. I can't really taste the Spam yet. I don't think this is a done thing on me. Just to get a sense of um, the spam in here, you can see if you've ever eaten spam in a tin and it comes kind of really square, and then you have to slice it up. What a slice of spam would look like—a mm. little bit brown around the edges. Mm -hmm. Want to try some? You may. You're right. The spam flavour is just really understated in this kimbap. That makes it sound quite classy. Not that classy. Mm. Can't really taste the vegetables. You've got some vegetables in it. Yeah, you got little bits of veg in here. There's some like, there's also some sesame seeds. You got some carrot. Maybe some uh, sweet corn? There might be a bit Maybe? of sweet corn there, yeah. Like chopped up sweet corn. Mm. Well, it might curious. be radish. Probably radish. Probably radish. We're in Korea, it's probably radish. They love radish. Everything has radish. It's all the radish. It's also bright yellow. Tasty. What does it taste like? Salty and kind of porky. Mm. It's a bit like this stuff. A bit like this, but mm. nicer, nicer. Maybe this is a Korean brewed pan. Yeah, maybe. Do you want to finish it off? Yeah, why not? What do you think then, Ellie? Mashi sayo? Mashi sayo! Now onto the final section of this Korean Eats video. We have purchased ourselves some dessert drinks. Ellie has gone with... Darinking your cup apple. Mm. So this is Denmark milk, which you might remember from the episode where there was some tomato jelly. I got the pomegranate drinking yogurt. Ellie's gone for something equally weird. 
apple. Who wants an apple in yogurt? Ooh. Still, it looks quite tasty. It does say here, sagwa, which is one of the first words you learn when you're taking Korean lessons. Uh, sagwa means apple. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just dissect this a little bit quickly, just like last time. Drinking yogurt, sagwa, and that's again Denmark, just like last time. And Ellie, I've learned how to say that too. Drinking yogurt, close enough. Sagwa. For my dessert drink, I've gone with a traditional Korean thing called shikye, which is a rice-based drink uh, made with barley malt powder as well. <laughs> nice sir. That's a real thing. That's a real thing people say. Right, here's my um shikye. Got my little straw here. Extend the straw. Wow. Yeah. That no that let's just have another look at that. That that is innovation. So on to the uh the ringing your gut Might as well have a taste. Ready? You first. Well, um, if you've ever had um, sour apple sweets and yogurt at the same time, I don't know what it tastes like. It's an old childhood favourite of mine, that combination. I really like sour apple sweets. I also really like yogurt, so I guess I'm not a winner. Uh, and I've got my shikya here, which I've opened up already. Uh, if you take a look at the inside of it, you can see this kind of weirdly grey. Pretty disgusting. It doesn't look very appetising, but it is actually alright. Let's give it a little mm, mix there. Mm. So I've had this before in restaurants, and I've been told that it's a really good drink to aid digestion, which is helpful after all that processed meat. Um, and it's always been kind of okay, but it's particularly sweet this time. Particularly sweet. Let's have a taste then. You want to go? Yeah, there's, there's often bits of rice floating around inside, but I can't find any. And usually it tastes a bit like rice as well. Yeah, it kind of tastes of grey rice lumps. Mm. Not much like rice eating, more like old rice. So sikye is made with rice and with barley malt powder, so it give, that's what it gets the sort of flavour from. Um, but as you know, you probably learned over the last few weeks of watching these videos, most things in Korea are made of rice. <laughs> I'm going to give the uh, Denmark drinking yogurt again, the apple sagwa flavoured. Mmm. Good, huh? I see what you mean about the, um, the, sour, the sour sweets. Yeah. I think I prefer yours. I think I prefer mine too. Loves it, guys. Best drink ever. So there you have it. We had our kurabia, premium kurabia. Two cool up. We had our pikpom. We had our spam flavored samga kimbap, and we had our shikye and drinking yogurt sagwa flavored. Mm. It's been a great meal. It has. And we are going to go up Namsan Tower here on Namsan Mountain. Which is where we are. And probably eat some more food too. Did we mention that we climbed a mountain? Oh, yeah we did. We climbed a mountain. Already today. No big. A whole mountain. As always, thank you for watching Korean Eats. This, I think sadly, will be the final episode of Korean Eats filmed in South Korea. Which makes it all more special that Ellie was here to co-host with me. So thank you very much Ellie for being here too. 
do the eating and the filming. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me on the show, Dan. Thanks for watching, everyone. Kamsamdila. Anihasa. Anihasa. Okay, that should work. Yeah. Yeah.